Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video with me, Elven Dragon. So last episode, we went and built up a small little cracking cave right into the island here and built up a little bit of a garden to go in the front of it. And well, since then, we have been busy getting the second layer of water in and more importantly, getting some of the plants in. You can't see any down here because we actually haven't started putting any of the seagrass in. But if you look up on top of the island, you can start to see we have a few up there. We've actually gotten quite a few cherry blossoms in. And now the entrance to this place looks absolutely amazing. I love it. But plants aside, we do have one more thing we need to do. Well, we have lots of things we need to do. We have one thing that we need to do down below before we can really get all the water in. And no, it's not get all of the seagrass in. But we do have a shulker box of seagrass now out here that we can use. We have one more thing that I want to put down there that is decently big. And that is, I would like to put a sunken ship down there. Now, we do have our ships that we have out in our port, and I think we might take some inspiration from those. But I'm thinking what we're going to do is this is going to be a cherry and mangrove ship. At least it was originally. Maybe we'll put some on the surface as well. I don't quite know. Also, since I've been building and putting in a lot of plants around here. Apparently, chorus fruit growing makes sounds. It's really, really weird. Anyway, so we have to go and figure out a place to put our ship. We have to get our terraforming stuff, actually, so we can actually start getting some seagrass down. So, seagrass stuff aside, what I'm thinking is maybe we will have our ship somewhere over here by our village. I do like right over here. This is a nice big area here. Feels like we could use something. So let's sit down our shulker box with stuff for that right now. Actually, you know what? Set both of these down. And get out a little bit of our bone meal. That way we can actually say we've gotten some of these plants in. There we go. Now we are going to need seagrass for the bottom sections here where it's only one block thick. Because as you can see, it's not growing underneath the island there. She's going to make that first layer there kind of annoying because we have a lot of areas where there's just one block. Fortunately, that's what we've got all this for. This will also allow us to put some on the end stone since it won't naturally grow there. And basically, start to fill this out. But anyway, I said we weren't going to get into seagrass today. And that is true. So, what it looks like is... I'm thinking this area over here is close enough to our village that it could be kind of a, an attraction thing, and it's close enough to the lighthouse that it could be construed as sinking naturally. I would put it closer to the village over here. Actually, we could. Maybe that'll work better. This is where the island kind of isn't overhanging quite as much. I like that. Let's put it over there. But what we are going to be doing is... We are going to be putting in an artificial reef. And what that means is what we're going to be doing here is we are going to be putting in a ship that was purposely sunk for the purpose of providing structure for a bunch of corals to grow on. And for that, we're going to need a ship. So for that, we need to go build one. So I'm going to go figure out what I want to do for this, figure out what I want to put this in and how many pieces I want this to be. Get a better idea of the size, shape, and just general feel of this ship. And then I'll be right back. All right, so there we go. We now have our rough shape here. Still kind of working and tweaking how this is going to look. I think that looks pretty good. We got our stern and our keel right there. And I'm quite happy with this. I decided to go with mangrove and cherry wood, at least to start. That way we have some nice colors in here. It looks like on the other side here. Oh, I already got that part. So, right now we just need to get a few things sorted out here. And just getting this other side here in. Now, there's not too much more for me that we need to do. I don't know that we're going to do all of this because this does need to be broken. So. We have to figure out how many pieces this is going to be in. 
or if we just want to keep this intact, which I'm leaning towards the second option because this would have been purposely sunk so it might not have broken up on the way down. So let's break that off a little bit to get an idea there. And if we can actually climb the scaffolding here to get up here, we can go ahead and break a hole there in the side of the ship. That can be where it was scuttled to sink it down. But I think we'll leave the other side here mostly intact. That way we actually can see kind of what this is supposed to look like. So basically we're just going to have our ship here flying on its side on the bottom of the ocean as a kind of mostly intact partial wreck. Now, I'm not quite sure how we're going to do the bow as usual. I'm guessing that, especially since it's kind of not really any other way to do this other than having this be the deck layer. So let's fill that in here. Let's see. We're going to need some trap doors or something right on the edge here, I guess. This down through here. And... Make sure we don't forget the windows here. All right, so a few small details later, and I think it's looking pretty good. I think maybe we need to bring this up a little bit longer out from the base here. Just because this is kind of looking a little flat. I think the front's fine. But I think this section here needs to be out another couple blocks. We don't really need to have any stairs or anything going up there. Just do that, and then put that in. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good for a small little ship. Again, we need to maybe get a little door in there. Let's see. Just get a trap door, because that's all that'll fit. And if we do that, it'll open right into that little cabin there. And there we go. Kind of like that. I think maybe we need to get Another fence on the side there. I think, in terms of getting all the stuff here in, it turned out pretty well. Now we just need a few little details. Now since this was purposely sunk, there wouldn't have been anything in it. But, you know, I'm really liking the idea of having there be a couple sunken ships. So maybe we'll put another one over here. Just scatter a few barrels and maybe a little bit of gold that we have a ship that crashed because it didn't listen to the lighthouse. That could be actually a lot of fun. I like that idea. Maybe we'll use the same kind of style. I don't know. Maybe we'll just make it be part of the ship. Maybe it's the other part of the ship that the Kraken sunk. That would work too. But I'm going to go get that in. And then I'll be right back. All right. And there we go. We now have the bow of a ship. It's kind of something. It's pretty much the exact same as the one we have over there. Just not on its side. And as you can see, I went and scattered a few barrels around here. I couldn't find the gold that we used for the Kraken Cave. So I just went with the barrels. I think this looks a little bit better. More like this was more of a merchant ship, I guess. I don't know if we're going to put anything in these. These are just empty for right now. But with our ships now in, it is now time for us to kind of age them and make them seem like they've been underwater for a while. Now, as you can see, this one's a little bit more tattered just so that it looks like it's been kind of worn away and broken up a little bit more. But we do need to go through and swap out some of these for their more weathered looking blocks, namely crimson planks for the mangrove and jungle for the cherry. Now what I don't know is if we're going to place all of them. I think having some of them still be the original might look kind of nice. Just make it look like this is just kind of weathered unevenly. Maybe there's still a few bits with the original paint and wood colors here. And just kind of make this look like it's been sitting under the water here for a while. Now we did go and weather the entire one for the Kraken Cave. So maybe this one will do full transformation. But I think that one will just do part of it. And leave the rest for another time. Make it seem like that's been sunk a lot more recently. But we've got a few things here to put in. As you can see, we put in a stair there. So it looks like there's kind of like an uneven hole there. And I think that 
that look good. So we've got a bit of weathering to do, and then I'll be right back. All right, and there we go. We now have both ships kind of aged up a little bit. I think we probably need to do a little bit more on that one over there, but it's also a lot more tattered, which probably means we should probably do a lot more on that one. But that can be done and played with a little bit more later. Right now, though, it is time that we start getting some of the corals and stuff on this because this is supposed to be an artificial reef. Can't exactly have an artificial reef without any corals. And, well, what I'm thinking for this is that we are going to flood this just like what we did for the Kraken Garden over there, where we're just going to work on the area that we are working in and work around that instead of actually flooding the entire area. Although, with how much we're going to need the water breathing potions to get the first layer here in, and a few other spots around here, we might as well just flood everything up to the outer layer so that we can just get all of the plants and stuff in at once. But for right now, we'll work just around the ship and get that in and make sure we don't create any spawnable spots because otherwise the Endermen will spawn and they will start picking up the gravel and it gets really annoying. So let's not give them a chance to do any of that. But once we get enough water in here, we'll just put in a bunch of our fans and stuff. We've got a bunch of corals and stuff as well that we can set in once we actually get this all the way crossed. That so that that's easier. So I'm gonna go get this one and the other ship completely covered in water, and then I'll be back once we get a few of our corals in here. And this is actually starting to look a bit like a small little reef. All right, and there we go. I may have gotten a little carried away putting the corals in on here, but as you can see, we've got tons of corals all over the ship. Lots of coral fans. We even managed to get a few coral blocks that I went and found in one of my shulkers. Yeah, I knew I had some somewhere. Apparently they were lurking in my main house in one of the shulkers that we got when we went to go get the sniffers. I've never really gone and sorted out. But we now have those all the way in. I do love the coral blocks here. It makes it seem a little bit older. It makes it seem like we have some corals that have become well established and it's not just little bands and stuff growing off the ship itself. We actually have some large corals here as well. Not many, but I do like the effect. It does make it feel like this is kind of more grown on and just been grown around and more scaffolding like, which I really, really like. Now the other ship, doesn't have anything on it, but I wasn't really planning on putting stuff on it. Maybe we'll put some coral fans on it eventually. But for right now, it is just the regular flooded sunken ship. So looking at, we should probably change more of that cherry out for jungle. But we will do that another time. For now, though, I have a lot of space to go and flood. We still have two more layers here to take care of, and we have to go finish up the rest of the seagrass and we still have plants on the main part of the island so i have all that to do but for that seagrass we need to go brew up some water breathing potions or find some conduits i think i saw like three hearts of the sea but i think getting the water breathing potions is going to probably be the easier option so with that right that's probably going to be it so now that we're up here let's take a look at this thing from above i do like that Seems a little small compared to the rest of the area, but don't think putting in more wrecks is going to be the answer. I think maybe once we get the seagrass and stuff grown around it and maybe some of it on it, I'll have to play around with that too. But I think once we get the rest of the seagrass and corals grown up all around here, it'll fit in much better. And maybe we'll put some rocks down there too. That might needed because again this is very flat but let's focus mostly on the seagrass and the corals and for that I need to go brew up some water breathing potions 
So I think that with that, that is going to be it for today. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more of what is going on in this end hub and in the rest of this world. And I will catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.